Coach Monte Ross to his left, is Devon Saller to his right, Jamel Higgins. Again, we'll start with a statement from Coach Ross and raise your hand if you have any questions. We'll bring the microphone around. Coach Ross. Well, you know, I can't say enough about uh, Hofstra and the job that, that Mo has done. You know, those guys um, coming into this game, we, we realized that it was going to be a dogfight, that we we're going to be in for a very, very difficult game. And, you know, because that's what they, uh, that's the way that they played us all year long, uh, two games ago. Um, and, and, you know, I'm really, really proud of our guys for the way that they fought. I thought we were a little sluggish in the first half. But I, I thought our experience, having been down here last year, uh, was key because we didn't panic. Uh, we knew that we had to move the ball better. We knew that we had to make better decisions. And I thought the second half, that start that we had for the first four minutes, I thought that was a very, very uh, key stretch in the game just to give us a little bit of, of, OK, we're OK, guys. And it's one thing for the coaches to keep saying it to them, but they have to see it for themselves. And I thought that, that stretch, the way that these guys started the uh, second half, I thought that was really, really key. But uh, you know, we're obviously happy to be moving on. Um, we, we know we have to play better tomorrow night. But uh, you know, I'm anticipating that we will. Time's yours. Monte, uh, you guys didn't shoot free throws well in the first half, which is very unlike you guys. Did you also feel like, okay, hey, that's kind of an aberration. If you know, if we get going to the line, we'll settle down there. You know, we'll be okay there. And you know, that's kind of that's kind of what happened. You guys did pretty well there late in the game. When yeah, it I, I did. Anytime you have two 83, 84 percent shooters, and Jarvis went to the line the first time, went one for two. He went to the second line and went 0 for two. So he was one for four to start the game. I'm like, and then when Devon went and he went one for two, uh, you could see it was just a case of, okay, we just have to get settled in here and then we'll be okay. But like you said, you know, at the end of the game when it was important for us to knock them down, I thought these guys really stepped up. And uh, I, I thought, you know, two big ones that might get lost were Jamel went to the line shooting a one and one and he made both of them. And then he came right back and made one for two. So he was three for four in two trips. And I thought that allowed us to uh, get a little bit of uh, space there too. Hey Monte, um, at this point, do you just assume every game's gonna be close? And you know, even when you had the double digit lead that, hey, it's still. Shoot, we've been assuming <laughs> that since January 2nd. <laughs> No, that's what we, and that's, that's this, these guys' mindset. Their mindset is, you know, it's going to be a rough and tumble game. And if we do the necessary things down the stretch to win, we're going to win. And this stretch that we've had, you know, we've won 11 of 13 games. Uh, the one, one of the ones that we lost, we talked about we didn't execute for the last four minutes and 27 seconds of the game. Uh, we did some crazy things, but since then we've been executing, we've been taking care of basketball, we've been taking good shots, and we've been holding other teams to one shot and one shot only. And when we do that, uh, we, we put ourselves in position to win. But these guys expect the games to go down to, to the wire. And I'm very confident in, you know, the guys that we have that we're going to make a play uh, down the stretch in order to win the ball game, whether it be offense or defense. Coach, everyone, uh, first of all, congrats on the win. But Thank you. With, uh, with Jamel as a senior and a couple other guys leaving and getting older, is this kind of like an all or nothing year for you guys that you've been building th this for the past three, four years? Well, I don't want to put that type of pressure on these guys. You know what I mean? We've been building it. Um, we, we were pretty good last year. Uh, these guys have taken major steps this year. Uh, we won 12 games in the league last year. Uh, winning 13 this year. Over the past two years, we have the, the most wins of anybody in uh, regular season play. Um, but it's because of these guys. You know, it's not any magic formula for me. Uh, and I think these guys would like to do something special in terms of <coughs> winning a semifinal game tomorrow. Like, the, the key that we talked about before this game is we wanted to do whatever we could to have an opportunity to play tomorrow at 430. Well, we've done that. So now the, the key is we want to do whatever we can to get an opportunity to play on Monday night at 7 o'clock. And, you know, all or nothing, I, I don't like to talk in those terms because, you know, when you break it all down, it is still just a basketball game. 
and uh, it's one that these guys take very seriously. It's one that my staff and I take very seriously, but um, you know, they're going to give us everything they have, and, and I count on that, and I know that, and we like to think that them giving us everything that they have is going to be good enough for us. Coach, just talk about the rebounding advantage. You out-rebound them 42 to 36, and you have two guys in double figures in Hagens and Baptiste in terms of rebounding. Well, I, I didn't know that uh, Carl was in double figures. Uh, shoot, you expect Jamel to be in double figures. He's like a walking double-double. Um, but I thought we grabbed tough rebounds. It's one thing when those rebounds come right to you, but I thought these guys rebounded out of their area. And that's what you have to do, especially against a team like Hofstra. You want to make sure that they don't get second and third opportunities, although we did give up a couple um, late in the ball game. But you really want to make sure that you don't give up second and third opportunities. And that was one of our keys to the game. We gave up five offensive rebounds in the first half, and we talked to our guys about that. So holding them for, to 12 for the game, we like it to be a little lower than that. But, um, you know, I, I thought our defensive effort was very good. I thought it was one of the keys to us winning the ball game today. Devon, could you just talk about the beginning of the second half and how important that was to, to kind of getting it turned around? Uh, I just told the team that we, uh, we need to talk and uh, play with more energies and uh, fight through the fouls and things like that. And we communicated in the second half, and we came out on fire. Hey, Jamel, um, Co Coach Ross said that you guys are going to have to play a lot better tomorrow. Is that, is that your feeling as well coming out of this game? What are some things you guys will have to do much better tomorrow? Um, I think tomorrow we're going to be much smoother on the offensive end. Um, we played good defense tonight, but I think we could have tightened up some things. Um, I feel the same way you feel. Um, after a good night's rest, we're going to do better tomorrow. Hey, Jamel, if I, if I could just chime in one more time. You know, what were, what were your feelings and what was the team's kind of mood at halftime? Were you just kind of thinking, hey, you know, all right, that's 20 minutes. Those 20 minutes don't matter anymore. You know, we'll be, we'll be a second half team tonight. Well, um, I think the team was very poised. We was coming out. We knew we didn't play our best the first half. And we came out. We knew we had to come out with energy. And we knew we had to play harder. So um, I think we came out. We tied the game up. And we didn't look back. Hey, Devon, if I could ask you one more. Um, but do, you, you know, do you guys always feel like you, you know, your free throw shooting is just kind of a little weapon you have in your back pocket? You know, they're, you know, they're when you need it at the end of the game. Yeah, we know uh, <clears throat> me and Jarvis want to get the ball at the end of the game and uh, step up and make a uh, big free throw. So we try to use that as a weapon. Hey, Monte, were you encouraged what you saw tonight with Josh Brinkley, his first game since? No, I was. Since I hurting was. his knee? I, Josh hasn't played since, you know, I guess it would be February 27th. I think that was our Hofstra game. I uh, got hurt on the first place. So to have him come back and be able to yeah, – and we had to ease him into it. You know, we, we didn't want to uh, tax him too much. And, you know, I think as this tournament goes on, I think he's going to get stronger and stronger. And that's just another uh, vital, vital part to what we're doing and, and, and how we're getting to where we're going. So. Uh, no, I was encouraged by, by Josh. Uh, I, I didn't see, see him favoring it. Or, yeah, he wasn't favoring or anything like that. And, uh, you know, it was just I almost need a bullhorn to get him into the game because he was always somewhere riding a bike or something. So that was the most difficult part of it, just trying to get him into the game. Devon, you play the winner of James Madison and William and & Mary. When you think back to the regular season, what do you remember about your games with James Madison and William and & Mary? Um, well, I know uh, William and Mary, we got to talk a lot. You know, it's a team that's always moving, uh, back cutting, and they shoot threes well. And um, James Madison, you know, they had a big play at the end of the game, so I think we got to communicate on them as well. And uh, we just got to be physical and just communicate, um, and we'll be fine tomorrow. Jamel, I was curious if there's any concern for uh, fatigue having to possibility to play three games in a row. I know there was uh, some cramping issues back in Madison Square Garden early in the season. Is there any uh, concern for the tough games of the tournament coming up? Well, um, since that game in the Madison Square Garden, we've been doing things to prevent that kind of situation from happening again. We take extra bananas and everything else. So um, I don't think it'll be a problem. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.